you speak of jealousy, what does it mean, really, where it comes from, and how can one surpass or dissolve the sense of jealousy? Well, firstly, jealousy is what you know you would call an emotion. It's an emotional state. And jealousy is a socialized state, a socialized thing. It's trained. Society trains people to be jealous because that is how society can grow and expand. Because if you are jealous of the other, you will want to have what the other one has. And therefore, society is able to make you consume whatever it is trying to sell. Jealousy is very rare, actually, amongst people who live in parts of the world where capital, greedy capital, is not so prevalent. Why? Because there isn't that competition. It's a different way of of functioning with each other. Jealousy is not something that you're born with. It's something acquired. It's something socialized. And what it is, is an emotion that arises within when there is an experience of not being adequate enough. That's the, the place from which it arises. If you don't feel adequate enough, you feel jealous of the other. Instead of pulling yourself to your center and actually being aware of who you are, the emotion of jealousy makes you move outward and makes you lose yourself. Which is why society and the socialization processes and capital and all of that wants people to be that way, because when they lose themselves, they consume. So the idea is to understand that it is not something which is intrinsic to your nature. It is something that has been slapped onto you. It is ego. What you do in those moments when jealousy takes over the system is try to bring yourself to this moment. Because when you're really present in this moment, you can't be jealous. Because jealousy is about people. It's, it's often just because one person pays more attention to another person that you feel jealous. And the point is that as you move towards yourself, as you realize the center of your being, the core, that strength, source, you know, as you become surrendered to source, the other and what all those plays going around between everyone just sort of quiets down. And very interestingly, what you'll also notice if you practice what I'm telling you, is that those very situations suddenly turn around. Let's say it's a man involved, and he's suddenly turned away from you and is turned to another woman. If you stop following in that direction, but you pull yourself to yourself, you actually pull yourself inward, you move into yourself, into source, into your center, you pull all your attention inward, and you sit quietly with that, with yourself, very quietly, with a smile, force it on yourself if it has to be, with a smile, move inward, move inward, stay there, stay there, stay there, hold through, hold through. You will suddenly realize that the other one is turning back towards you. Because that emotion of jealousy, it takes you away from yourself. And when you're away from yourself, you are not something coherent. You're not solid. Why would anyone want to deal with somebody like that? It's no way to allow that in your system. No way. You have to stop it. You have to pull yourself back to yourself. And you have to be hard with yourself. You cannot imagine it will happen on its own. It won't happen on its own. Every time those thoughts come out, throw it out. This is not an issue of meditation and hoping that you know you'll transform. No, you have to throw it out. You have to pull yourself to this moment. You have to feel the source and you move all your attention, energy, everything inward, 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 inward. 
feel your center and sit there. This problem of jealousy is something so painful and so horrible and so powerful that one can't allow that to take over one's life, you know. When that feeling of jealousy comes, you first try to throw it out, it's not me, this is not me. Bring yourself to this moment, pull all the energy inward that you have been expressing out in, in all this jealous stuff, pull it inward, bring it to your source, to yourself. Even if it means you swing from left to right till you find your center like a pendulum, you come to your center, move in and stay there and hold it. You have to do that. And gradually everything around you will start changing, you will see. We've seen it many times. Life is too short to give in to jealousy because it's all happening in the thinking and in the emotions and it's hurting in the belly and it's hurting in the head. No, no, not worth it to waste a single moment of life on that. And the more you tune into your source and to yourself, the more you'll tune into the other person and the more they will tune into you. You don't split yourself up, you become coherent, solid. You become in full surrender to Source. And everyone around you starts quietening down. It will happen that way, that's how life is. That's how these forces are. It's defeating ego. Jealousy is a face of ego. You don't give in to it, you throw it out and you move into the Truth. There's no need to find out how does jealousy happen, where does it come from, this, that and all. Why would you want to even know that? It's such a painful and horrible and ugly thing to, to live through. We don't need to know where it all comes from. Why do we need to know that, you know? Just be strong and take that route. Then you'll see very soon life will change. So there's no need to send well wishes to this person or people involved in as an object of jealousy? No, the only person to send well wishes to is yourself. Because the more you are in tune with yourself, the more automatically everything around you quiets down. So people say, oh, you know, my boyfriend left me and he went now with this other girl and I'm sending him lots of love and I'm sending him all these deep vibrations of healing and all, that's just nonsense. Nonsense! You can't do anything for anyone else if you are not in surrender to your soul, just quietly within yourself. That's how you actually support the entire situation. All that sending of energy and all, so what? How does a broken person send any energy or love or healing or anything to another person, tell me? It's not possible. That's all that New Age pop nonsense. Yes, you can send strength to another, but once you are in a state of strength yourself, then you can. But you won't need to because the other one is automatically strengthened. When you are in a state of strength. And the, the very crazy thing about it is that it's just that painful. Like it's inordinately painful when there is this story of man, woman, and this, and third person, and all. All of that pain is just of no use. It's the ego that is paining you. You cannot allow it to have that grasp. You have to turn inward. Life is telling you, Izumi, time to move inward. Time to move inward. These kind of experiences are always a sign from life for you to move inward, to start to bend to the Source, to bend and surrender to Source, to the Truth of your being. You know, that Source could be anything. It could be a drop of cosmic soul, it could be a genetic protein that is sent out into your brain, it could be anything, that's not the point. The point is that there is that experience of centeredness and quiet which you need to 
turn towards and strengthen with. Be there in this moment. Be here. Every time that jealousy attacks, you have to stop it then and there. And the entire situation will turn around. Just watch. If you do it, it will turn around faster than you think. Literally. See, it is important to get rid of this horrible, terrible, disgusting, just nasty feeling of jealousy. It's like the biggest enemy. You just don't want that in your system. You have to get rid of it. It is not intrinsic to you. It is not something that has arisen in your brain or in your body. It is something that is like a like a atmospheric wave that takes over your system. You have to refuse it entry into the system, you know. And and become powerful. Don't give in to this nonsense. Get your power back. Start to breathe again. The truth is your master, not another person, ever. Don't forget that, you know? Thank you, Maharishka.